Well, hello, everybody. Happy, happy Monday. Thanks for coming into class. If you do want to play along with my music today, you're going to find that on Spotify. My username is Christine A. That's all smashed together. And the playlist that you're going to be looking for is the 20-21 flow. If you don't have Spotify or you don't want to play that music, that's perfectly fine. Play anything that you'd like to that's either soft, soothing, or gives you a little bit of energy, whatever you feel like you're needing today. We are going to get started in our Shavasana, so I will give you a countdown on my music, and then when you're ready, bring yourself into Shavasana. All right, pressing play on that playlist here in three, two, and one. So find your version of Shavasana. Begin to extend your arms, your legs. Take a nice full deep breath in. Nice sigh out as you exhale, press your belly button into your spine, allow your air to empty out. And now with your next couple of breaths, just begin to notice your breath, your body, your heartbeat. Begin to notice how you're feeling, where you're feeling, where your breath is sticking and staying in your body today. As your breath feeling, as if it's stuck in the tops of your lungs, maybe a bit thick or restricted? Or is your breath able to flow a bit more full and fluid? Pressing down towards the bottom lobes of your lungs and allowing your belly button to rise and fall from your spine. Just notice and acknowledge. There's no need to change. There's no need to manipulate. Just take this moment to see where you are today. Where is your body of today? Start to bring your energy all the way down to the tips of your toes and the outer layers of your skin. With your next inhale, visualize moving inward, coming into your layers of skin and into your fascia, into your muscles, your joints, your tendons, and all the way into your vertebrae. Just notice intention, tightness, discomfort. And if you do find a tight space in your body, take a full breath in and fill up. Give yourself a large open mouth exhale, releasing. If you begin to notice points already feeling open, spacious, or free, then bring a breath that's filled with gratitude. And thank your body for the breath that you've been given today. We'll take three more breaths. Slow, smooth, and fluid, continuing to feel inward and upward through your spine. Through your shoulders into your neck. Bringing that energy all the way up to the crown of your head. Take a full inhale. As you exhale, visualize this relaxation and warmth showering over your body, coming all the way back down to the tips of your toes. Slowly begin to draw your left hand onto your heart. Bring your right hand onto your abdomen. Feel your breath. And with your left hand on your heart, I'd like you to begin to find a positive, loving thought for yourself. Take a full deep inhale, sending that feeling and that thought into your body and picture warming up gently from your insides out. <clears throat> One more inhale. As you exhale, release your arms alongside your body and start to wiggle through your fingers, your toes. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth and then gently rock your head from side to side. Take a long body stretch, reaching your arms high above your head. And stretch nice and deep through one side. And then into the opposite to balance out. Come back through center. Start to squeeze your knees in nice and tight. 
find a bit of movement here, rock, roll side to side. Slowly find your stillness and center, squeeze your knees down tight, plant your right foot to the ground and left ankle onto right knee. Supine pigeon, thread through, grasping behind the back of your right leg, flex your left toes towards your shin, and as you inhale, extend your right leg high. Now roll through your ankle, unwind, point your toes, and then flex your foot, take an inhale. Exhale, draw your legs in an extra eighth of an inch closer to your body. Take another breath. And then slowly rebend your right knee. Release the grip of your right arm. Keep your legs as they are. Roll to the right. Your left foot lands to the ground. Left knee is open high. Open your arms to a T and turn your head to the left. Supine pigeon twist. One more big breath in and out, and then slowly bring your eyes back to the ceiling, pull your body back through neutral with your right foot planted onto the ground, reach for the inner edge of your left foot and half happy baby, open your foot up to the ceiling, draw your knee down towards the ground, and we're going to hold for two full breaths, maybe jiggle your jaw side to side, making sure that you're not clenching down. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, begin to slowly squeeze both knees into your body and rock side to side for a breath. Find your stillness, plant left foot to the ground and right ankle, left knee, flex your right toes back towards your shin. And if you'd like to thread through, grasp behind the back of your left leg, draw your legs in, extend left leg high. Find a bit of movement to roll out. Point, flex, draw your legs in an extra eighth of an inch. Take another inhale. Rebend your left knee as you exhale, release the grip of your left arm, supine pigeon twist. Let your legs roll to the left. Open arms to a T, turn your head to the right and hold, feel your breath. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly bring your eyes back to the ceiling, body through neutral and half happy baby. Left foot is planted to the ground. Reach for the inner edge of your right foot. Open up to the ceiling. Draw down deep bend into your knee. Hold here. Jiggle your jaw out. Open up. Stretch out your face. Take another inhale. As you exhale, slowly again, squeeze both knees into your body, draw in tight, pull your forehead in close. Walk along the length of your spine to come up to your feet, cross your ankles. Plant your hands and send your feet through to your tabletop pose. Give yourself a second here to stack your joints. Wrists are below your shoulders, knees hip distance apart. First inhale, cow pose, belly drops down, nice rise to the ceiling. Exhale to your cat, round and press back three more times. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Finding your breath, inhale through your cow. And exhale, cat, one last time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Neutral tabletop, extend your right toes to touch the back of the mat, belly button in, lift right leg up to hip height, flex your toes hard to the ground, reach your left arm towards the top, point your dog, take an inhale, exhale, elbow and knee tap into center, 
and inhale, extend. Exhale, curl, tap. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, curl. One more time, find your space. Curl as you exhale. Inhale, stretch out, let your left hand land to the ground, bend your right knee deep, and then fire hydrant out to the side, 90 degrees, take an inhale. Exhale, cross right knee behind left and tap. Inhale to lift, exhale, cross and tap. One more time, inhale and exhale. Lift your right knee high and then bring that back down to the ground. Switch this out, left toes touch the back. Drawing up hip height, flex your toes. Right arm reaches, deep inhale. Exhale, tap into center. Stretch out and tap. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Last one. Stretch out, let your right hand land, bend your left knee deep. Fire hydrant to the side, take an inhale. Exhale, tap behind right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend and tap. One more time. And tap. Lift your knee high, bring that back down to the ground. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet for two full breaths. Next inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling and pigeon pose right knee towards your right wrist. Shin is aligned towards the top edges of your mat. Slide your left leg back, press weight to your hands. Inhale. Stay here as you exhale. Take one more big breath in. Plant your right hand to the ground. As you exhale, thread your left arm under your right. Look to bring your shoulder down to the mat, left ear down. Reach your right arm towards the top. Hold here for two full breaths. Take one more inhale and then replace your right hand below your shoulder. Press in, tuck your left toes and come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes high, pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist, sliding your right leg back, lift up, hold here. One more deep inhale. Left hand plants, right arm threads under the left. Bring your right shoulder and ear down towards the mat. Reach your left arm towards the top. Two full breaths to hold. Slowly replace left hand below your shoulder. Press in, plant both hands to the ground, tuck right toes, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, side to side. Find your stillness, seal down your lips, ujjayi breath, restriction to the back of your throat. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling as if you were fogging up a mirror with your lips closed, your breath is audible. Find your breath. Let that be loud. Bend your knees. Eyes to the top of your mat. Hop, step, walk to the top. Half lift as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend and goal pose. Inhale to reach. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift, flat back. Forward fold, plant your hands, step back to your plank, elbows bend in towards your body, take any flow that fits for you today. Come back through to your downward facing dog when you feel ready, take a deep inhale. Ujjayi breath as you exhale. Now bend your knees, bring your eyes to the top of your mat, hop, step, walk to the top, half lift, inhale, fold as you exhale. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend and goal pose. Inhale to reach. 
Arch to the right as you exhale. Inhale, Tadasana. And exhale to the left. Inhale, rise. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift, flat back. Forward fold, plant your hands, plank, step back. Take any flow that fits for your body or skip. You can always hold your plank. You can just arrive in your downward facing dog when you feel ready. Next inhale, reach your right toes high. Warrior one, sweep through, plant down. Left heel to the mat and rise. Everything shines to the front. 90 degree bend into your front knee. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, lean forward, palms face down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale to rise. Forward fold, plant your hands down. Lift left heel and plank. Chaturanga or skip. Arrive back when you're ready, downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach your left toes high. Warrior one, sweep through, plant down, right heel to the mat. Everything shines forward. Pull right hip, right shoulder forward, 90 degree bend, front knee, deep inhale. Exhale, airplane, lean forward, palms face down. Warrior one. Airplane. Rise through warrior one. Forward fold, plant your hands to the mat, right heel lifts, left foot comes back. Plank. Flow through or skip. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, right toes high. Crescent lunge, sweep through, plant down. Get your balance and slowly rise. Sink down, deep breath in. Right arm back, left arm front, open twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale one more time, opening to the back. Inhale through center. Bring your hands down to your heart. Begin to rotate towards the right and then hinge forward. Left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee. Put pressure into your palms to lift and twist your torso. Breath in. Big breath out, one more inhale. Exhale, come back to center, plant your hands down and back to your plank. Chaturanga or skip. Next inhale, left toes reach high, crescent lunge, rise with balance, sink down, deep inhale. Exhale, left arm back, right to front. Inhale through center. One more time, opening to the back. Inhale through center and close your hands at heart. Slowly rotate your torso towards the left, hinge forward. Hook your elbow to the knee. Eyes bottom foot if you'd like. Pressure in your palms, lift and twist and hold. Continue to breathe. One more breath. Release back through center, plant down. Left foot to right, plank, chaturanga. Big breath in, big breath out. Next inhale, right toes reach high. Warrior two, sweep through, plant down, rise. Sink as you exhale. Open right hand to the ceiling, reverse your warrior, ceiling and back. Warrior two, reverse your warrior. Warrior two, triangle pose, straightening out your front knee. Reach to the front, left hand down, right arm high. Turn your head top hand. Belly button in, full breath in, 
big breath out. Take another deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly rise. Bend your front knee. Reverse your warrior's tailing and back. Warrior two, exhale. Extended side angle, reach forward. Right elbow drops, left arm high. Passive stretch for your neck. Turn your head to the left. Another big breath in, big breath out, warrior two, rise. Cartwheel down, frame right foot, plank, flow through, skip. It's completely up to your body. Next inhale, reach your left toes high. Warrior two, sweep through plant down. Inhale, reverse your warrior, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior two to triangle pose, straightening out front knee. Actively reach forward, left hand drops, right arm reaches. Turn your head, top hand. Micro bend, left knee. One more inhale. Stay as you exhale, slowly rise, rebend front knee, warrior two. Triangle pose, sorry, extended side angle. Bend into your knee, hinge forward. Left elbow, left knee. Right arm reaches, turn your head to the right. Hold here. Slowly rise, warrior two. Cartwheel all the way down, frame left foot, lift right heel, plank, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. So step your feet apart, hip distance, about six to nine inches in between your feet. We're going to twist our downward facing dog. Right hand is going to plant to the ground. Left hand lifts, bring that to right knee, take an inhale. Exhale, start to slide your hand down towards right ankle. Turn your head under right armpit. Only slide as far as feels best. Take a deep breath in. Stay as you exhale, one more inhale. Slide your hand back up to your knee and replace. Press weight to left hand. Slowly lift right hand, bring that to left knee. Slide down as far as feels good. Turn your head under your armpit. Big breath in. Stay here, one more inhale. Slide back up, downward facing dog. Eyes to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Hop, step, walk to the top. Half lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend and goal pose. Inhale, rise. Sink down to your chair, squeeze your knees in nice and tight. Toes and heels touch, belly button into spine. Exhale, sink down, lift your toes. Weight is in your heels, toes back down, full breath in. Right arm sways back, left arm front. Back through center. Left arm back, right front, back to center. Close your hands at heart, forward fold, half lift. Fold, plant your hands, plank, flow through or skip. Arrive to your downward facing dog when you are ready. Next inhale, right toes reach high to the ceiling. Warrior one, sweep through, plant down, left heel to the mat. Slowly rise and then sink. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, lean forward, palms face down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior one. Bring your fingertips down to the ground, lift your left heel, weight into right foot. 
slowly begin to ground your warrior three, lifting your left leg high. Fingertips can stay to the ground. Pull your belly button in. Light bend into your right knee. Flex left toes towards the ground. One hand at a time, test your balance. One more big breath. Ground your warrior, bend your right knee. Left toes really far back to the mat, left knee down. Walk your hands back, half split. Move your foot towards the top. Start to roll out your ankle and then unwind. Point and then flex. Hang your head down just an inch heavier. Take another inhale. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift your head and your torso. Unflex your toes, slide yourself back to tabletop. Plant your hands to the mat. Lift up to your plank. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Either take your flow or arrive, downward facing dog. With your next inhale, reach your left toes high. Warrior one, sweep through, plant down. Right heel to the mat, rise. <clears throat> Everything shines forward. 90 degree bend, take a deep inhale. Air, playing your arms, lean forward, palms face down. Warrior one, rise. Airplane, leaning forward, palms facing down. Inhale, warrior one, fingertips to the ground. Lift your right heel off the ground, press weight to left leg, and then lift right leg, hip height. Flex your toes to the ground, light bend left knee, belly button draws in. When you feel ready, you can start to test your balance. Maybe one hand comes off the ground, maybe two. Feel the wiggle in your ankle, embrace that. A bit more strength is growing here, take another inhale. Exhale, ground your warrior fingertips down, right toes back mat, left right knee down, and half splits, straightening out your front left leg. Roll through your ankle, unwind, point, and then flex hard. Hang your head heavy, take a big breath in, big deep breath out. As you inhale, lift your head, unflex your toes, and come back through your tabletop. Lift up to plank. We hold here, belly button into spine for five, four. Continue to fight gravity here for three, two. Take another big breath in, and then as you exhale, either flow through or just arrive. Downward facing dog, give yourself a little bit of a break. Take an inhale. Stay here as you exhale. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, right toes high. Sweep through and plant down next to your right thumb. Take a breath in. We're going to walk our hands around center for a wide leg forward fold. Heels can come towards the outer edges. Toes inner. Let your head hang down, maybe come down to your forearms. We're going to stay here for two full breaths, wide leg forward fold. With your next inhale, begin to lift your head and your torso. Plant weight to your hands. Now walk your hands towards the right side, bend deeply into your knee, let your left heel lift. Come back, walking to the left knee. Back to the forward knee, bending right knee. One more time back. Now walk yourself all the way around to the front, frame your right foot and come back to plank. Hold. Five, four, three, two, downward facing dog, one. Inhale, left toes high, 
Sweep through to plant down next to left thumb. Slowly start to walk your hands around to the right, wide leg forward fold, toes, inner edges, heels towards out. Sink down, let your head hang down nice and heavy. Two full breaths. Inhale, lift your head. Begin to bend your right knee. Walk your hands towards the right. Slowly walk your hands towards the left. Bend right knee. Sorry. Walk your hands forward, bending your left knee. One more time to the back. Come all the way to the front. Walk your hands around. Frame left foot. Plank and hold. One more breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Eyes to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, hop, step, walk to the top. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend lightly in goal pose. Inhale to reach. Hands down to your heart. Shoulders up to your ears. All the way down to back pockets. Find a focus point onto the ground, three to five feet in front of you. This is your drishti, something non-moving. Lift your right toes off of the ground, grow your roots, and then bring that back down. Low tree, let your left knee open to its own side. Either allow your arch of your foot to hug your ankle bone of the right or right calf. We're going to stay below our knee. Grow your branches. Allow your branches to begin to sway in the wind. Give yourself just a bit of a challenge here by shifting your gaze off of the floor. Draw that towards the ceiling. See how this affects your body. Big breath in. Find stillness. Awkward tree, slowly lift your left leg off of your right. We're going to let this hover. 90 degree bend, flex ankle to toe, big breath, one more deep inhale, high tree, let your left hand help, again find branches, let them sway, find any amount of challenge, you can allow your Torso to rotate here if you'd like to challenge just a bit further. Take another inhale. So exhale, let your arms slowly drop down to the side, float left knee into the front, extend and kick out one leg to dasana, and then float down. Roll out, see how your right leg is feeling. Inhale, your arms reach high, samasthiti, bring that back down to your heart. Find your focus point again and let your shoulders roll down to back pockets. Energy is into your left foot. Right kick stands. Low tree opening to its own side. Growing branches. Let your branches again sway in the wind. Now, if you shifted your gaze the last time, maybe try that again on this side. Take another big breath. Awkward tree. Slowly lift your right leg off of your left. Flex ankles to toes, 90 degree bend. Feel your right glute firing to hold your leg up in space. Another inhale. High tree when you're ready. Right foot lands. Grow your branches. Branches again swaying in the wind, any bit of challenge that you'd like to find here. Take another big breath. Let your arms drop to the sides. Float your right knee into the front. Extend and kick out one leg to dasana, deep inhale. Come down as you exhale. Roll out your wrists, roll out your hips. See how both of your legs are feeling. Reach your arms high to the ceiling. 
And bring that back down to your heart one last time. Focus point to the ground. Energy is into right foot. Come back down, figure four. Left ankle, right knee. Flex your toes. Slowly begin to sink down to your version. Figure four, look to send your hips back. Maybe your forearms rest on to left calf, maybe not. Honor your body and what you've got going on today. If it feels safer in your body, you can laser shoot your fingertips towards the ground. One more big breath in. Big breath out, slowly bring your hands back to your heart, begin to stand tall, kick left leg to the front, one leg to Dasana, take an inhale. As you exhale, slice through warrior three. Flex your toes to the ground. Micro bend to right knee, help with your balance. Begin to reach your arms towards the front, release your prayer, take an inhale. Stay as you exhale, one more breath in, Slowly let your hands land to the ground, left foot lands, half lift, inhale, and fold, exhale, Tadasana, arms reach high, Samasthiti, bring that back down to your heart. Energy is into left foot, lift your toes, bring that back down. Figure four, right ankle, left knee, flex your toes, protection of right knee. Either stay here or start to sink. Now, instead of just hinging forward at the hips, look to send your hips back as if you were taking a seat. Maybe your forearms come down. And maybe it feels safer again to laser shoot your fingertips. Slowly begin to bring your hands back to your heart. Stand tall, kick right leg out to the front, take an inhale. Exhale, warrior three, slice through. Bend lightly into left knee. Slowly release your prayer, reaching towards the front. Two full breaths. Second exhale, fingertips to the ground, right foot lands, open your feet up, hip distance apart. Yogi toe hold, peace fingers grab hold of your big toes. Deep, deep bend to your knees, let your head hang down heavy. Find a bit of movement, sway from side to side. See how it feels in your body to start to straighten out your legs. Or maybe bend your elbows towards the outer edges of the mat. What feels best here in your body? Another deep inhale. Stay here as you exhale. One hand at a time, slowly release. Toe heel your feet close in together. Half lift. Fold, plant your hands. Step back to your plank. Either take your flow or lose it. Back through to your downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right toes high. Pigeon pose, right knee, right wrist. Slide left leg back, press, press weight to your hands to lift. Sleeping pigeon, when you feel ready, walk your hands forward, come down to your forearms. Try not to roll your body to the right-hand side, keeping your hips in neutral. Next inhale, press weight to your hands. Slowly lift up your head and your torso, quad stretch, deep, deep bend to left knee, flex your toes once they arrive. Now you can either stay here or left hand can move into center, right hand maybe reaches back through heel. 
As you exhale, you can draw your foot in towards your glute just a bit. Take another big breath in. As you exhale, slowly release. Now shift all of your weight to your right hip. Swing your left leg around to the front, moving into our Janusher Shasana. Right foot meets the inner edge, left side. Reach your arms high. Actively rotate your torso to the left, looking to hinge forward, framing your chest over your knee. Let your body melt down. Close your eyes. Now, depending on your body, if you'd like to feel a bit more of a stretch, you can slowly turn your head just a bit more to the left. Feel the space along the entire right side of your body, from your shoulder all the way down to your hip. One more breath in. Big breath out and now slowly walk your hands up your leg. Bring your torso back through center. Swing left leg over right. Reach your arms high. Rotate your torso to the left. Hook your elbow onto your knee and slowly turn to the left. Another big breath in. So you exhale, come back to your center, untwist, and bring yourself back to your downward facing dog, however you'd like to get there. As you inhale, reach your left leg high and pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist. Slide your right leg back. Lift your head and torso briefly. And sleeping pigeon when you feel ready. Slowly press weight to your hands. Lift up your head, your torso, quad stretch, deep, deep bend to right knee. Stay here or right hand in the center, left reach is fast. Maybe draw in or keep flex. Take another inhale. So you exhale, slowly release, shifting all of your weight, left hip, right leg swings around. Janusher Shasana, reach your arms high. Actively rotate your torso towards the right. Frame your knee and hinge forward. Wherever your hands land, that's perfect. Maybe on this side, turn your head towards the right. Just notice and acknowledge the space along the entire length, left side, your body. Slowly begin to release, walk your hands up your leg. Swing right leg over left. Reach your left arm high. Rotate towards the right and either hug or hook your knee. Turn your head to the back. As you exhale, come back through center, uncross your legs. Wiggle around, find your sits bones. Boat pose, slowly begin to lean back, 
Pull your belly button into your spine. Maybe let your toes begin to lift off of the ground. And we're going to hold. Using your ujjayi breath restriction to the back of your throat. You're breathing directly into your intertransverse abdominals, your tightest core muscle. If you're feeling frustrated, you can start to pedal out your feet from side to side. It has a couple of tricks. Takes your mind off of your stomach. Sews your abs in together so you don't have a huge divide. It also keeps you here for an extra 10 to 15 seconds. Take another inhale. Slowly squeeze your knees in and hold. Take a breath. Low boat and extend. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Lower as you exhale, and one more time, lift up. Lower, hover, take an inhale. Roll to your back and pull your knees in tight. Let your belly button go, rock side to side. See how you're feeling now. Now find your stillness. Eagle legs, right leg crosses over the top of left, full bind if you'd like, or half. Open your arms alongside your body. Slowly begin to swipe right arm under left and find your version of eagle arms. Now pull your belly button down into your spine. Let your arms and legs move a few inches away as you inhale and exhale, eagle crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, find space. Exhale, tap into center. And one more time, inhale. And exhale, open up and untwist your arms. Keep your legs as they are. Slowly roll both legs to the left. Even just a few inches is fine. Turn your head gently to the right and hold in your eagle spinal twist. Eyes back to the ceiling, body through neutral, uncross your legs, switch that out left over right, eagle legs with a full bind or half, arms open to a T and then left arm slices under right, see to find your eagle arm, belly button into spine, find a bit of space, arms and legs away, exhale, eagle crunch, inhale to open and exhale tap. One more time, open and tap. Open, untwist your arms. Slowly let your legs roll a few inches towards the right. Maybe turn your head to the left. One more big breath in and out and then eyes back to the ceiling and body pulls back into neutral. Uncross your legs, squeeze your knees nice and tight and two breaths of rocking from side to side. And then plant both of your feet onto the ground, hands palms side down. We're going to start out with our flowing bridge. As you inhale, press weight into your feet, begin to lift your hips and reach your arms high above your head. Exhale, hips and hands, touch back down. Inhale, press, lift, reach. Exhale to sink. One more time. Inhale, press, lift, reach. Exhale, sink back down. Now keep your hands alongside your body and press into your bridge, lifting your hips. Chest expansion, if you'd like to, interlocking your hands below your body. Shimmying one shoulder at a time until you reach a height that feels good. If this isn't enough height, you can also lift your heels off of the ground. Keep your eyes on the ceiling. We're going to stay here for two more breaths.
Begin to release your chest expansion. Shoulders back to neutral. Iron out and pull your knees in nice and tight. Take a second here again to rock from side to side. Maybe see how it feels when you allow your knees to be open just a bit wider. And then find your stillness and modified legs up the wall. Straighten out your legs. Maybe grasp behind your thighs or your calves for a bit of support and close your eyes. You can always give yourself a little bit of a bend into your knees if you'd like to. In modified legs up the wall, this is a free ride for our blood all the way back down to our heart. It allows your mind to begin to calm, closing down the chitta vritti, the monkey chatter that's constantly in our minds. Happy baby, when you feel ready, reaching for the inner edges of both of your feet, behind your calves or thighs. And find movement. Deeply bend one leg, extend the other, and rock, roll between the two. Now find your stillness in supine cobbler's pose. Let your feet meet in center and your knees open wide to the side. Either plant your hands onto the inner edges of your thighs on top of your body for another connection with your breath and heartbeat, or parentheses your arms around your head and picture yourself just feeling open and expansive. Let your eyes close down and we're going to rest here for just a moment, allowing our breath to calm, heartbeat to even out and slow. Slowly begin to bring your arms towards the outer edges of your knees. Close down your knees. Move your arms away from your body and let both of your legs roll to the left. Gently turn your head to the right. Bring your eyes back towards the ceiling. Body through neutral and then let both of your legs sink down towards the right. And turn your head to the left. Slowly come back through center. Squeeze both of your knees in nice and tight. Beginning to draw your knees in close to your body, squeezing out any last bits of energy or tension. And when you feel ready, find your version of Shavasana, maybe extending your legs long down the mat and beginning to take up a bit of space or if you are feeling any tension on your lower back, you can bring your feet planted onto the ground, knees touching in center, and then toe heel your feet out towards the outer edges of the mat. And this is your constructive rest. This will take a bit of weight off of your lower back and tailbone. Wherever you are, just close down your eyes. Get out any last wiggles or fidgets. And then just allow your body to pause. We take this time at the very end of class, our Shavasana, to allow your practice to fully settle into your body.
You can stay here just as long as you'd like to in your Shavasana. But if you are ready to begin to move on with the rest of your day, find light movements into your fingers and toes. Begin to deepen your breath and gently rock your head from side to side. Take a long body stretch and reach your arms high above your head. Stretch nice and deep through one side and then into the opposite. And when you feel ready, roll to either side into your fetal position and pause here. Draw your knees in towards your body. With your eyes closed down, picture coming back into that positive, loving feeling that you found. Allow that to fill you and last with you for the rest of your day. Begin to press weight into your front hand and push yourself up to seated. Bring yourself around to the front. Bring your hands to heart center. Connect your thumbs onto your sternum and just for you, feel your breath. Give your body praise and gratitude for everything that it does for you throughout your day. Constantly pushing you forward in life without ever asking. It is such an honor to get to share your time and your space. As you inhale, slowly lift your prayer to your forehead for positive, loving thoughts. Bring that down to your lips for speaking words of truth. And down to your heart for connection of them all. Namaste.